Hey guys, so today we're making some chicken al pastor. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. So I'm gonna start by preparing the peppers. And so I'm gonna use four wahio peppers. Um, and then I'm gonna use two pasilla uh, peppers or chilies. And so these seem to be pretty staple peppers in a lot of Mexican dishes, or at least the dishes that I've made. These have been kind of the go-tos. And so I have a lot of these in my cabinet. And so I'm just gonna take the seeds out of these peppers. And then I am going to uh, boil these on the stove uh, for about 30 minutes, or you're gonna let it steep in some hot water for about 30 minutes, or just until um, they get nice and soft, because we're gonna blend this up for our uh, marinade for the chicken. And so after your peppers are nice and soft, you're gonna put it in your blender, not blender, <laughs> in your blender. And so then I'm gonna add in four garlic cloves. I have some bay leaves. And I'll be sure to list all of the ingredients in the description box below. And so I just really love making Mexican cuisine. Um, it's probably one of my favorites so far. And so I'm going to put in a few of these chilies in adobo sauce. I put in about three, but if you don't like it really spicy, maybe just use about one. And so I am going to add in uh, two packets of this uh, uh, sazon. And so this replaced, um, and I can't remember the name of the sauce, but I couldn't find that type of sauce at the store. I'll be sure to link the name of it in the description box below, but I couldn't find it. So I used that as a substitute because it said that that has a similar flavor. And so I'm gonna add in some salt, some cumin, some Mexican oregano, um, all the things because we want our delicious marinade to taste good to us. Um, I'm also gonna add in some ground ginger. And y'all can't remember everything I put in this dish. So I, again, we'll put the ingredients in the description box below. We have some ground cinnamon, and I'm not gonna put a whole lot of that in there. Um, and then we have some ground allspice, all different types of flavors because we want this to be very flavorful. And then I have some orange juice, and then I'm also gonna add in some apple cider vinegar. And, um, and then I'm gonna add in a small can of pineapple juice. And this is gonna make all of this taste really good, y'all. This was a really nice marinade. It kinda had a smoky sweet type of flavor to it. Um, and you wanna let your chicken marinate. Um, you can do it overnight or at least for a couple of hours um, so that all of the flavor can get into your uh, meat. So I'm using some boneless, skinless chicken thighs for this recipe. Um, and I'm just gonna pour that marinade all over my chicken. You could use some chicken breast or um, probably any cut of meat that you want, but I like chicken thighs because, you know, it's juicier um, and you don't run the risk of it getting super dry like uh, chicken breast. But I'm just going to cover this up and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and let it marinate for a couple of hours. And then we are going to cook our chicken. Um, and I am so excited for this recipe. And so I have my cast iron skillet here and I'm going to add in some avocado oil. Um, and then I'm just going to start cooking this chicken and let it get a nice color on it and that's it y'all <laughs> this was like super easy a lot easier than i thought it would be and so i'm gonna end up making um like a, a burrito bowl type of situation with this and so i got the idea because um i like the the chicken al pastor from chipotle and no i'm not a huge fan of chipotle um but the chicken al pastor is actually pretty good um, and so I thought I would kind of make my version of that. And so here you have it. <laughs> and so I am cooking my chicken in batches. And for whatever reason, the second time you put stuff on like in a skillet or whatever, it just browns better <laughs> for whatever reason. I guess it's because the other little bits are already on there. And so this is what the chicken looks like after I have cooked it on both sides. And so I'm just going to cut it into strips so that I can start preparing my bowls. 
um you don't have to make it into a burrito bowl you can definitely chop this up and put it in um, a taco shell or you can serve it over some salad or whatever you want to do with a shoot you can eat it just like this if you really want to and so i have some brown rice um that i'm gonna put in my bowl and then you can really put whatever you want i tried to put everything that i would get at chipotle in this bowl so i have some pinto beans um and i just added some onions um to my beans and i took a shortcut and used canned beans um but you can make your own beans if you want to and then i'm gonna add in some corn and then i have some um sauteed onions and bell peppers in there you know kind of like their fajita vegetables and then i'm gonna add in my chicken i did make some homemade guacamole but i did not show y'all that on camera and it did not make it into my bowl on camera but i made some homemade guacamole and that was delicious um but again you can add whatever you want to your bowl so i'm just gonna add in some salsa and then i'm gonna add in some salsa verde um some uh chihuahua cheese whatever you want i'm gonna add some queso yeah i i hooked this bowl up um but again put whatever you want in your bowl or just eat it as a taco um but that's it y'all this was super delicious super flavorful it had a nice smoky sweet spicy flavor to it i would definitely make this again um i hope you guys enjoyed this recipe Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I truly appreciate the support. If there are specific dishes that you want me to make on my channel, just let me know in the comments below. But again, this is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching. Bye.